Title, Pete Davidson vs. Peter, Comedy and Canine Controversy, Pete's Profanity Led in Protection of Pooch. T.L.D.R. Pete Davidson, our favorite quirky comedian, has heatedly taken on animal rights group Peter, with a profanity-infused voicemail, all over his new puppy. The puppy purchase got Peter's fur in a twist because Pete opted to buy rather than adopt. Pete defends his choice passionately, citing dog allergies and family heartache. But will Peter let sleeping dogs lie? Let's take a wag at the tail of this story. We all know Pete Davidson for his comedic genius, that characteristic mix of edgy humor and vulnerability that keeps us laughing. But it seems this time the joke's on Peter. When Pete purchased a puppy from a pet store rather than adopting from a shelter, Peter was less than amused. But he gets to decide how a man should love his dog. When Peter expressed their poor full disappointment, Pete took matters into his own hands, or rather, his voicemail. The SNL star let loose a storm of profanities aimed at the organization's senior VP of Cruelty Investigations, Daphna Nashmanovich. Are we shocked? Not really. Are we amused? Maybe a little dot. So why did Pete go for a store-bought pup instead of a shelter sweetheart? He says he's allergic to dogs. As much as we love those furry friends, itchy eyes and sneezing fits aren't exactly our idea of puppy love. The breed he got, a cavapoo, is nearly hypoallergenic because they don't shed. And let's face it, who doesn't, prefer their fur on the dog rather than on the couch question mark. But Pete's choice wasn't just about allergies. The pup was also for his mother, whose previous dog had just died. Who among us can't relate to the soul-crushing pain of losing a beloved pet? The choice of a new canine companion, then, becomes more than just a purchase, it's an emotional journey. But does Peter see it this way? Despite the barrage of F-bombs and strong language from Pete, Peter is holding its ground. But it's a doggy dog world out there, and Pete seems willing to bark back at Peter's criticisms. But should a comedian really be under fire for buying a dog, or are there bigger bones for Peter to chew on? We're all for rescuing pups and giving them loving homes, but who gets to dictate how one brings a furry friend into their lives? While Pete's methods may have been unconventional, and peppered with a good deal of expletives, they raise a question that might have us all scratching our heads. Does the decision of getting a dog from a pet store instead of a shelter make you less of a pet lover? Or are there other factors that Peter might be missing out on here? What's your take on this canine controversy? Disclaimer, this article does not provide recommendations or endorse any actions of Pete Davidson or Peter. It merely presents the situation for informational purposes. All information is sourced from the provided news story.